What happened to the Bradley sisters on that hot summer day in 2001? The day began like any other. Their mother, Tracy Bradley, left for work early, leaving Tianda and Diamond in their apartment on Chicago's south side. Tracy expected her responsible eldest daughter, Tianda, to look after her little sister until she returned. When Tracy came back home around noon, she found the apartment empty. Tianda had left a note stating that she and Diamond had gone to a nearby school and store, a note that appeared to be in her handwriting. However, despite the seemingly innocuous nature of the note, Tracy quickly realized something was terribly wrong. The community sprang into action, with hundreds of volunteers and police officers canvassing the area. Flyers were distributed, nearby parks and alleys were scoured, and every possible lead was pursued. Yet despite these extensive efforts, no concrete evidence emerged to explain the sisters' disappearance. Several theories have emerged over the years, each as perplexing as the next. One possibility is that the girls were abducted by someone they knew. This theory is supported by the fact that there were no signs of forced entry or struggle in the apartment. The idea that a familiar face could have coaxed the girls away is haunting, yet plausible. Another theory considers the possibility of a random kidnapping, a terrifying prospect given the vulnerability of young children alone in an urban setting. Family involvement has also been scrutinized. Police thoroughly investigated the mother Tracy and her boyfriend, who had displayed suspicious behaviors around the time of the girl's disappearance. Notably, he had proposed a camping trip for Tracy and the girls, a bizarre suggestion given that they had never been camping before. Moreover, the day after the girls vanished, he purchased contractor bags, gardening gloves, and neoprene gloves, citing home renovations as the reason. Yet, no renovations were in progress. Despite these red flags, no direct evidence implicated him or any family member. Further intrigue surrounds Tianda's note. While it was confirmed to be in her handwriting, family members noted the language seemed unusual for a child her age. Additionally, phone records revealed a call from the apartment to Tracy's cell phone, which went unanswered. Tracy returned the call three times, but again, no one picked up. She remained at work, a decision that has raised eyebrows over the years. The media played a crucial role in keeping the case in the public eye. Tianda and Diamond's story was featured on national television programs like America's Most Wanted and The Oprah Winfrey Show, bringing nationwide attention to their plight and raising awareness about child safety in urban areas. Despite the passage of time, the case remains open, with the Chicago Police Department and the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children continuing to seek answers. Technological advancements, particularly in DNA analysis and digital tracking, offer a glimmer of hope that new evidence could surface, leading to the discovery of Tianda and Diamond, or at least providing some closure to their family. If you're intrigued by mysteries like this, be sure to like and subscribe to Baffling Mysteries for more stories that keep you on the edge of your seat. Let's keep the memory of Tianda and Diamond alive and continue to hope for answers to this enduring mystery.